This is Tesco car park in uh, Rosnava and uh, it's situated conveniently right next to the bus station and uh, this means that probably uh, lots of people leave their vehicles here such as this big red one somebody's left here and um, I suspect that this could mean that as far as Tesco are concerned uh, there could be a limit to not parking you're allowed to do here. Having said that there's plenty of spare places uh, here probably won't buy anything but if I do see any signs like that I'll nip in and uh, spend a couple of uh, euro cents on something cheap and then claim it took me a long time to make my mind up. Right messy river they've got here. Well it seems as though the graffiti is actually official. So this would appear to be the main square from the photographs I saw on the internet. Which is uh, pleasant. It's very large. Most unusual style. These are archways coming into it. I like this. This appeals to me. Very nice backdrop to the hills behind. As always, it has Tesco for that matter. It's written in two languages, it's very significant from the very minority. Also a gypsy minority. I think the majority is Slovak, unlike in Tornala, or just come through where two thirds of the population is actually Hungarian. You see the sign written in three languages referring to uh, um, what, what used to be in this building. Uh, there was a very significant Carpathian German minority living here who came here in the Middle Ages largely because of the mines. Although, as a result of the Second World War, were largely expelled. Again, once again, the madness of Hitler <laughs> brought that on. And here we see that the square has been dug up and somebody's going to put this place, 85% of which has been paid for by the European Union, 10% of which has been paid for by the European Development Fund and the Slovak state has generously chipped in with 5%. Ah, that's what I was looking for, I might get a map. No, I won't be getting a map. It's closed. Pretty pointless. Closing a tourist office at uh, four o'clock. We're opening at eight. Oh, that's something. People killed the Holocaust from here. Yeah. So we can see that the Soviet Union took the town on the 23rd of January 1945. Rather impressive looking church. Although like many things here it seemed to be a bit out of condition. I'm sure this will be very nice when it's finished. So there's the main square. Coming around this corner, it's as though we're already out in the country. Well, that looks like the countryside to me. Now, this town got uh, wealthy 
in Middle Ages because of the uh, minerals uh, which were found to the north. And um, those men include nickel, gold, silver, uh, iron. And it would have been, by standards of the time, pretty wealthy 400 years ago. This is northwestern end of the square. Piroska, that place is called. Same as the place I was in two days ago in uh, Egeshalov. That's where I came in from. I think these fronts here are really very cute. southern direction. Evangelical church, possibly a reminder of the German population that lived here, possibly. We'll see that it's written in Hungarian, Farsky Urad, as is the church things written in Hungarian. However, all the shop stuff is written in Slovakia. I really like the setting though, with the mountains all around. Something I find very, very attractive. Come back to where I started out from. As Tesco's up here on the left. That's now on the right, so turn left. I have a list of things from uh, Rosnava I was considering uh, going to, but it's, it's, it's sort of late in the day for things being open. There is a mining museum here, which is the sort of thing that would interest me. I'd like to have seen. If you were it was, of course. So that's the um, Evangelical Infant School. That starts being paid, paid for 80% by the European Regional Fund and 14.25% by the by Slovakia, and there's some money there missing because uh, that only comes up to 95%. So 5% haven't worked that one out yet. Gymnasium. <laughs> So, back at Tesco's and back at the van.